Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we got an officer that's in the hospital right now. It's a very lucky man, along with additional officers at the scene of the shooting this morning. I'm going to cover that real quickly. But about 3.47 a.m., we got a 9-11 call from an individual claiming there was a person with a gun, possibly breaking into Jeans Antiques on the Rancho 12, which is south end of Wembley, south side of Mount Wembley. Numerous officers responded. When they responded, they received information through dispatch. Uh, the, the caller was possibly a resident that lived above the antique house, of the antique shop. And it was known to the Hayes County Sheriff's Office. They did that through some phone records from the caller. The officers got there. There was nothing going on at the antique shop. They went up the road above the uh, antique shop to a resident up there. As they topped the hill up there, they were basically ambushed. There was an individual behind a rock wall beside the roadway, opened fire with a shotgun. We had three patrol cars struck. One officer struck, received, uh, he's got numerous pellets from about here down in his body. And uh, several car, the cars were shot up and the officer returned fire and the individual was struck and deceased at the scene. It's very much an ongoing investigation. Our officer's gonna be at the scene for most of the day uh, going through the evidence there at the scene, collecting shell casings, but uh, we know that uh, at this point in time that the individual fired approximately nine rounds with a shotgun, so he apparently had to reload, and the officers returned fire, uh, numerous rounds were fired from the officers. So that's where we are right now. We feel sure that's not a self-inflicted gunshot wound by the suspect, the deceased suspect, that he was shot by an officer. That still has to be determined. That's still a part of the ongoing investigation. So. I'm going to let our district attorney make a comment.